they're scraping along, looking for stuff again. And uh, just looking as we go along. You know, scrape a little bit here. And we'll find something. A lot of, a lot of junk. This wire all twisted together. This is a piece of junk. Every once in a while, we'll come across something very cool. gotta look for the round stuff like I said it's, I thought maybe that was a lens but it's the glasses whoa wait a minute I don't know if you guys can see this or not see it up in there <laughs> Got it out. What in the world? Man, that's a cool one. Get it, get it cleaned off here. Got orange. Clear streak. Wow. That's pretty cool. Every once in a while, like I said, we'll find something like that in the ground. And uh, we just, just never know what we'll find. But uh, you can see all these layers that we got. Really bad ash layer. Rusty layer. Got the cat orange, whatever rust, I guess. <laughs> it's got a lot of lime in it, too. And then a really dark layer down here. That's what we're digging. That brown layer right there. We popped that marble out of that. I'll come back as soon as we get something else. Alright, digging out some more stuff and. Would you know it? Found this right here with the lid still on. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's pretty. I think that's olives. <laughs> olives from probably 30s, 40s, or 40s, probably late 40s. Put you back on here. <laughs> Look at that. It it's not this. This has no smell. No smell whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. the only thing I the only reason why I think it's olives or it's cherries. One of the two. Because you can see that where the the center's been plucked out. It could be cherries. But that was pretty interesting. That's the first food jar we found with actual food in it. Here you go. Here you boys. <laughs> Dump them all out. I said, I, I have no... I mean, they're hard as a rock, too. It's Dawson's dinner. That's, that's how, that's Dawson's how dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and they are crunchy. You're like, crunchy. yeah, crunchy. that is crazy. You're like, it must have been through a fire or something. But, yep, found this little drinking glass also, <laughs> and 
snack was gone. Somebody took, somebody lost their snack. Oh well. All right, we'll get back as soon as we find something else. All right. All right, everybody, I'm out here digging. And uh, I've, I've come across something that's uh, unreal. Uh, been out here digging for a while. Um, digging down anything, anything you see that's uh, like round or anything like that, or coin shape or whatever. I mean, pick it up, clean it off, because I mean, you just you just never know what you're going to come across. Um, I just came across. Let me take you off. I just came across this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I mean, it is awesome. I just looked it up. I'm going to have to take it home and clean it up, but uh, you can see this. It's a World War One victory medal from World War One. I. I mean, just digging in here. Like I said, I'll have to take it home and clean it up, but uh, I'll, I'll show a video of, of it when it's cleaned up. But I cannot believe this. It's somebody from World War One that fought in World War One, their medal. I mean, I'm just lost for words. <laughs> it is just, as you can see, I'm just digging, digging here, just, uh, just chugging away, and uh, you just never know what you're gonna come across. I'll let you know as soon as I get something else. Right. side too. I'm guessing this is a bottle. Baby bottle. It's got measurements on this side and uh, numbers on this side. is here, Fire King, Heat Proof, Fire Proof, Heat Proof, <laughs> interesting, I think I found one of these before, baby bottle, <laughs> there's a, there's a jar down here, if I get out real quick, put this over here, I found a couple more of these uh, Kerr self-sealing jars. That's a smaller one. I find larger ones, Kerr, K-E-R-R. -R. I guess they were a uh, competitor to ball. That's what I was reading. Competitor to ball jars. Get this one, this guy out of here real quick. Damn, Jim. 
Might be another cur. Just do not know. It's crazy that these things are even intact with all these bricks. I mean, there's just tons of brick material in there. Yep, another Kerr self-sealing wide mason. I'll always check the contents just to make sure there was nothing in it. <laughs> you never know what they could have put in these things and just tossed them. But I'll get back as soon as we find something else. Digging still and uh, digging up here and around this area and look what just fell out right here. I mean, that's pretty cool. Take the guys off here. I mean, that is sweet. <laughs> really cool battery, or marble. Sorry, my battery's low on my, uh, my GoPro. That is cool. I have no clue what brand of marble this is, but I'll have to look it up when we get back. Digging again. Just digging down here through all these layers. Just trying to find something cool. Still just a lot of trash. Uh, see here. <laughs> Charcoal. Charcoal biscuit. Never know what you're gonna come against, come come up across. Uh, just old cans. And <laughs> it's interesting. Look at some of these cans. You see the puncture marks on the front on top of them, where they just used a puncture tool. Just to open them up and probably dump it out, whatever the contents were. But, uh, yeah, I'm just digging, digging this stuff out. And, like I said, hopefully, we come across something cool. Like I said, anything round, get in here. Find anything round. You know, pick it up, check it out, you know, even when you, you know, start filling up your old spot, just take a look at stuff you threw, just make sure you ain't missing nothing. Glass, you know, I mean, most of this stuff is just ash, you know, burnt stuff that people burnt back in the 50s and so on so there's a little bottle right here it's got it's a warped it's like a little cologne or perfume never know what you're gonna come across. It's just interesting. 
even though it's junk, you know, I mean, you might find something pretty cool. Like, here you go. This would go awesome on one of the bottles I've got already. It's a bottle stopper. It's got bubbles in it and everything. It looks kind of blue. Kind of see it. It's got a blue tint to it. That's pretty awesome. We'll continue to go and continue to work through all this stuff and I'll just turn on the camera anytime I find something. So otherwise, they just both watch me dig. <laughs> watch me dig through trash, which takes several minutes before I find something different. That's something round right there. Looks like a coin. Wow. Yep, that looks like a coin. And we'll have to clean it up and uh, let you know what it is. All right. All right, everybody. I'm back. Um, this is what I found right here. It is, if you can see it, an Italian coin from the 30s, from the 20s to, I think it went from 1920s and 1940s. I'll have to, the date's on the back here, but I'll have, to, I'll have to clean it up to see what date it is. But yeah, I looked it up and uh, sure enough, I don't know if you could see that or not without the glare. But uh, there it is. Some people have some pretty high prices on these things. <laughs> Italian coins. But uh, yeah, so that's cool. Italian. Interesting. Right here in St. Mary's, Ohio. Uh, finally found a ball jar perfect mason ball jar and that is blue as the sky I mean that is cool as you can see the L comes down uh, B comes down it's a perfect mason and it's a uh, number four. I do not see any damage. Well, maybe. Nope. I think I was just made that way. There's a seam right here. That is awesome. No damage at all. That's a ball jar. I'll get back as soon as I get another one. here with uh, some of the finds I found today uh, just to show you guys That's what we got going on uh, wasn't too bad of a day uh, did all right with the bottles and did really good with the uh, medallion or the metal I said World War World War one victory medal is what I found found out I get to focus here and you can see there it's like a it's Liberty with a sword and a shield and on the back side it's pretty I gotta really clean it up yet I'm still soaking it but uh backside here is it's pretty cool I mean it you can look it up online and see what it actually really look like but uh, 
Not sure if I'll get it back to original, but uh, I'm gonna try soaking it in vinegar and salt solution. Try to get some of this stuff to break up off of it. Uh, the other coin, this coin that I found is a uh, Italian uh, Vit M the third, I guess, three. And it's a 10 cent Italian coin. I can see a shield cross in the back there. The dates down here at the bottom, uh, left hand side here. Let's see if I can get the light on it. And, uh, barely see it down here at the bottom. This is 1939. Bottom left hand side. 1939. Gonna have a 10 on the right hand side there. With the ones covered up zero you can see. That's pretty cool. First one of those I found. First one of those I found. To the bottles, uh, found a Dre's or a Dre, a perfect Mason jar. Uh, found a True Aid, not carbon carbonated uh, beverage, pasteurized. <laughs> uh, I believe this is a bottle stopper or a, maybe a top to a dish or something like that. Whitehall, I believe, maybe uh, medicine. Ball jar lid, nothing fancy in that. It's pretty cool though. Uh, Kerr, self-sealing wide mouth mason. Um, couple of those and this real tiny bottle with the lid still on it and it's just slick it's nothing really really on it yeah, nothing really on there and these three cokes uh, this one has Portland Indiana on the bottom this one right here Lima, Ohio, right there in the bottom, and this one is Finley, Ohio. They're all patent 10, 55, 29 Cokes, six ounces, so yeah, six ounces, trademark. Oops. That's about about it. Well, hopefully I'll get back with some more finds. Have a good one.